Yeah, I was discussing it with my wife yesterday. She she commutes about 20 minutes to work at, at Newcastle University. Mm. Uh, uh, will she be forbidden from doing that? Will we have to move 10 miles down the yeah. road to, to be nearer to her work? I mean, it's just barking mad that we're, we're, we're quite this illiberal now. Yeah. And it, I didn't see this coming. I thought, you know, when we got to the 21st century and having defeated communism, we could all relax and be nice to each other mm. and, and generally let the world uh, run the way it could. Um, uh, uh, instead of which, we seem to be slowly sinking into an authoritarian impulse mm. on all sorts of matters. Uh, and I think that's why it's important to nail the lockdown myth. Mm. Uh, yes, we had to do something to stop the virus spreading, but if we'd urged people to take certain measures to stay away from big gatherings to 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 on the whole work from home etc but not told people not forced people mm. then i think as sweden showed uh, we could have achieved the yeah. same results without the the dreadful legacy that we've now got well also i wonder as well and i'm slightly on your side with at the beginning you know the first lockdown i remember it being announced and we all kind of went oh okay so what well, they want us not to do anything for two weeks and that seemed reasonable at the time and i'm like you i thought okay we can do that but then when it went on and on for sort of months and then when we came out of it then we started to go back into it then you started to wonder if it was the right thing to do but i wonder also if later because we knew more about it and more people had actually had it, that it was OK to mix with people and even to get COVID. Because in the end, if you look at the numbers who, who, who actually died, they were very largely older and, 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 and people with sort of comorbidities. You know, people under the age of, say, 50 um, who were relatively healthy were mostly unharmed by it. Well, the alternative proposition was always to try and protect the elderly, yeah. who were clearly more vulnerable, uh, uh, but not protect, uh, not not uh, take away the freedoms mm. of working age and younger people. And we didn't try that. We didn't give it a go. We said it was impossible. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't believe that. I think it was possible. There's another angle to this, by the way, which is quite important, which is that in that first lockdown, we told people to go to hospital if you got really sick mm. with COVID. But if you had a mild case, stay at home. Now, just think about that from the virus's point of view. We were telling the virus, you can spread better if you're more virulent. Mm. You know, the virulent cases were going to hospital, infecting nurses and other patients. Yeah. The, 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 the mild cases were staying at home and infecting nobody. So mm. we put pressure on the virus to evolve dangerous mutants. That's where Alpha came from and Delta came mm. from. It was only once we got back to normal life that mild variants like Omicron came forward instead. So I think we delayed the taming of the virus by these lockdowns. Mm. 